We finally got to the spot where we're going to be spending quite some time. Today, this right here, my friends, is the mighty Connecticut River. You guys can see just from over here that this river is pretty wide. Noah and Rowan are already at the end of the pier. We're going to be fishing this little pier over here. Kind of reminds me of the Delaware River uh, around my area and the Tennessee River, right? The Lake Nickajack back in Tennessee. It is going to be an interesting experience out here. But before I get to the pier there, I just wanted to give you guys a summary of what has happened this morning so far. I don't want to put footage here on the channel that is going to bore you guys too much. So um, we went to a creek style place this morning in hopes of catching some live grass shrimp with a little dip net. That didn't really work out. It was overflown over there from all the ice meltdown and the rain that they had in the area. Then we hop spots to another creek style place in hopes of catching a tomcod, which is a species of fish that none, none of us has on our life list yet. That didn't quite work out as well. However, I did catch my first banded killifish of this year and the species number 11 of this year. I'm going to leave the footage in this video right now. <gasps> what is that? I don't know. What is that? What is it? You you let me know. Oh, it's it's a mummy. It's a mummy chog. Damn, bro. Photo tank anyway. Caught a fish, bro. It was so small. Yeah, it looks like a looks like a bandit. You guys have bandit here, right? Yeah. Damn. It may be just a little banded killifish, the Fundulus diaphanus, but believe it or not, this is the first fish <laughs> of this Connecticut trip and my first one of 2020. So this counts as something. I was just telling Noah and Rowan over here that I did my part. Now they need to catch some fish out here. It's going to happen today, right? Yeah. Oh hell yeah, that, that's that's what's up. And uh, now as you guys saw it, uh, we left that spot and we came over here. We're going to try the Connecticut River for a good while and really, really hope that something shows up here. I mean, I'm not really getting skunked today, but I definitely want to catch something a little bit bigger than, than this, right? So let's go over there and see what is going on. That is rich. Everywhere else, the snow already melted, kinda. But here, you still got the snow. I tell you what, winter fishing here in Connecticut, the struggle has been real, but we have been grinding. So, as far as we keep grinding, something's bound to show up, right? That's the key idea. Wow, check it out, huh, guys? This river is kinda raging check that out it reminds me so much of the delaware river so i just put one rod down there and i'm gonna punch this one out and we're gonna stay here for a little while and just see what happens good game plan we got a solid five feet deep right here it is 10 44 a.m right now I'm about to reel this rod in for you guys to understand the current situation of this place, okay? And mind you, I got three and a half ounces on this rod. I showed you guys earlier that the tide was kind of ripping over here already. Let's see the amount of junk that I'm going to get here. Oh, yeah, look at that, huh? So as you guys have probably figured out, um, the river over here is definitely not working out. Um, we have not gotten any bites so far, so I think it is really time to make another move. Rowan and Noah are kind of deciding what they want to do next, but I think at this point, yesterday being skunked and today kind of being skunked so far, right? Because I'm not going to say I'm very proud of just catching a bunch of little banded killifish. 
uh, <laughs> we may just pick spots. Forget about the tome cod, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pick spots where, where our chances of catching fish are maximized a little bit. Oh, this day going way too well, fellow anglers, way too well. We got Rowan and Noah here. We're going from tom cod to trout fishing. This is when you know the struggle is real. We just want to catch a fish at this point, right? Yeah, all right, let's do it. That's what's up, what is it? Fall fish? Okay, well, let me go over there because I want to take at least one photo. A little fall fish to begin the day, huh? Did you release it already? Oh yeah, not bad, dude. Which fly or whatever you used? So, uh, feed head. Here's your soft half. Gotcha. You want me to take a shot or you good to release? I'll take one shot. Oh! Nah, he's good, he's good, he's good. All right, all right, never mind the shot. You got one, right? So you're good to go. Fascinating, after the first tunnel over here, we just passed this tunnel. No bodies found, no cops called, no big fish caught. We got a set of two tunnels. They decided to choose the right side, you see that? I'm gonna get risky and I'm gonna choose the left side over here. Hopefully I won't die in it because I can't see how deep it is. All right, it's pretty sketchy in here. I can't see anything. All I see is the light on the other side and the light on this side. I'm kind of in the middle of the tunnel, you know? Great echo too. You live! Wow, <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> okay, let's go catch some fish in this creek. Very interesting things happening in the creek, folks. So far, I have landed today three banded killifish. <laughs> Rowan here has landed four fall fish, the Sematilus corporalis, and Noah over there is using a piece of salted clam in the wild trout stream. And we're really hoping he's going to land something on that because that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Oh, Yay, fall fish! Sematilus! Come up here. Now, you see, this is probably my only fish of the creek today. I got to enjoy the fight, man. Because I'm not fly fisherman, you know? So, I'm just going to play the fish over here for a good 30 seconds. You know? Kind of shift my rod left and right. Enjoy every second, man. Fighting good. And then poor fish, I'm gonna really <laughs> take a shot and that's it. Oh my man, that's funny. All right, little fall fish. Hey, the Eurotaco Anisoptera. Hey, Eurotaco, where's my promotional fee here, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let me, let me release this fish over here. Yes, this is my biggest fish of the Connecticut trip so far, guys. I know for you guys, it probably doesn't mean a lot, but you know. Okay, all right. It's a good beginning. There we go. There's one. Fall fish. Very nice little fall fish from the trout stream. I don't know about the trout folks, but at least there are some fall fish for us to play with today. I would like to emphasize, I didn't say about the other one, but this uh, the other one was actually my first fall fish of 2020, right? So that is species number 12, I believe. So I didn't really count for that one. I'm counting for this one, okay? There we have it, Sematilus corporalis, the cousin, right, of the creek chub. The Sematilus atromaculatus. Oh man, they do fight good. Just using a little pink jig head, little anisoptera. Good stuff. Ah, 
ladies and gentlemen just to say that i am not messing with anyone here on this youtube channel just to say that this is a very sad outro it is currently 4 20 i did not do this on purpose okay it is 4 20 p.m right now and uh, no rowan noah and i we've been fishing the whole day since like 8 30 in the morning or 8 a.m we hopped so many different spots today you know we tried for the tom cod for like half of the day hopping different places and nothing happened i only caught those banded killifish in the morning right then in the afternoon we kind of just said screw it you know tom cod's not gonna happen so we hopped to the trout creeks and <laughs> we hopped like two different spots caught a bunch of fall fish the semotilus corporalis no trout so the struggle is real you know i got good news and i got bad news for you guys the bad news is that this trip so far in connecticut has been real tough winter fishing over here is real tough we have been going for a species that we have never caught before right so i expect it to be tough but not this tough the good news is that I just hatched the Cranidos and I evolved it today in Pokemon Go. So I, now I add another Pokemon to my Pokedex. That is the good news. You see what I'm saying here? So anyways, this is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, one more day here in Connecticut. Rowan promises that, to, that tomorrow is going to be the golden day. So if nothing happens tomorrow, hey man, talk to Connecticut <laughs> fly angler you know and take it from there it is time for us to go get <laughs> i'm just messing around we'll try our best tomorrow and see what happens okay uh it's time to go get something to eat thank you very much for tuning in i really wish i had more fish to show it to you guys but at least you guys got you know a vibe for the fishing up here the experience itself right and it's not like i got skunked so tight lines folks and i will see you all next time You got one? Nice, dude! Oh, hell yeah! Yo, no, that's what's up, bro! Beautiful! Yeah, a little rainbow! Very nice, man. You want me to take a shot for you real quick? Let's do it! I really thought it was going to be like yesterday, you know? But no, very nice, man, very nice. Awesome, dude, catch a few more. Unbelievable, we've been here only for a few minutes. And Noah over here just hooked another one on the fly. Yeah, these guys know what they're doing for sure. Yeah, beautiful, another rainbow over here. I mean, the water is super, super cold. You guys can't see really Noah's face. But it is like 20 something degrees Fahrenheit out here. Yeah, it's beautiful fish, man. Awesome. <laughs> There's one. Finally. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Boy, I'm not gonna lose this one. Mm -mm. Come over here. I think it's a wild brown. Beautiful one too. Bit against the current on the EP series. You guys can see it over here. First fish I'm not missing today. I missed so many earlier today. It was like crazy. <laughs> Took the EP series real nicely. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful brown. Gotta take a shot and put it back in the water now. It is like 23 degrees Fahrenheit out here, like negative six Celsius. So my hand right now, it is really, really freezing. You guys have no idea. Wow, man. 
no wonder there's a fish here for you to just come here <laughs> that's the first one of the day right second one <sighs> all right that's what's up i'm gonna take a shot for you if you don't mind all right let me take one with the phone here yeah people are going to go crazy on you because you're leaping that fish but all right i'm not i'm not holding it up all right yeah that's a beautiful fish very nice very nice to get to the spot though my goodness i almost sunk and fell over there for real that was terrifying <laughs> 